Members of historic Oak Cliff Church found things in shambles there this morning. Thieves broke through the doors, ransacked rooms, even ripped apart the church's children's center. Fox Force Natalie Sleese has more on the story from our Dallas newsroom. Natalie. Well, Steve, this church has been a part of the community for over a century. The head pastor has been there for six years, and he says this is the worst break in he can recall. Those are, you know, pretty solid doors, I think. Busted door after busted door after busted door. I think they were looking for things that they could quickly take. Whoever broke into Tyler Street United Methodist Church in Oak Cliff took their time methodically ripping through eight offices, even hacking their way into locked closets. Drawers overturned, desks pilfered, cabinets looted. A worker called Pastor Ed Lance this morning. He just informed me that we had a you know pretty major break in. So much damage and mess, it's hard to tell what's missing. This is a new project. This is a new mission of ours to reach our community. But some things are clearly gone and will be missed, like a brand new 70 inch monitor that had yet to be installed. It would be mounted here uh, on the back uh, of the worship space. Lance says he doesn't know why anyone would target the church or what they were looking for. This is our children's building. So they were stealing from a church and really, in this case, trying to steal from the kids yeah, that's in your church. Yeah. Sure, yes. The thieves certainly didn't care who they were stealing from, and they might have gotten away with more. The efforts were interrupted, and so that's a good thing. A bin half filled with children's electronics left behind. But Lance isn't daunted or particularly distressed about the loss, and for good reason. People really are our priority. Giving glory to God, that's our priority. And so, yeah, it's frustrating, it's inconvenient, um, but. In the end, no one was harmed, uh, and, and stuff is stuff. Well, in addition to the stolen 70-inch monitor, two laptops and a router were taken. Lance says he loves Oak Cliff, and he thinks that this could really happen anywhere. Dallas police are investigating and say the person who reported the burglary noticed a man at the church who claimed he was running off homeless people, but then he ran away, so he couldn't be questioned. Police were there earlier dusting for fingerprints, so hopefully that will yield some clues. Steve. Natalie Solis, thank you.